Intuit is the only museum in the United States that only exhibits outsider art. And by that, I mean art that is um, produced by artists who are self-taught, um, outside the mainstream of the traditional art community. Often, these are artists who have experienced um, some difficulty in their lives. Um, they create because they have to. They are compelled by their vision, their personal vision, to create art. And oftentimes, they are um, very compulsive about creating that art. And they create with um, things that they find to hand. We're at Intuit, the Center for Intuitive and Outsider Art here in Chicago. We've been around since 1991 when we were founded by a group of very avid outsider art collectors. And we've been in this building since 1999. It's a great, great spot, great facility. We do changing exhibitions, movie screenings, lectures, um, poetry workshops, teacher workshops, family workshops, all kinds of interesting things to get people um, to uncover their own creativity as well as experience the art in the galleries. We have a permanent collection of about 1,100 works. We have a lot of, of well-known artists um, from the outside of our art world, Eugene von Brunkenheim, um, Lee Goaty, who was a Chicagoan, the artist Betty Zakoyan, who is in our permanent collection. We have, I think, probably the largest collection of her works that I know of. Henry Darger was probably the most significant outsider artist that has lived so far. Um, he wasn't known during his lifetime as an artist. He was discovered about the time that he was um, passing away. And he has become one of the most significant outsider artists in the world. People come here just to see the room that he created in. And that is part of our permanent collection. Henry Darger was um, a, a Chicagoan. He was a recluse and um, sort of at the time that he died, all of this incredible artwork that he produced was found. This is the actual um, belongings from his room, his actual fireplace. When we look at photographs from the room, uh, this is very much like what the room looked like when he lived in the room. And he, over time, developed this very rich story. He had a 15,000-page um, book that he wrote and illustrated that was about um, these children fighting these armies of bad guys. Many times, the children were um, the heroes and were vanquishing the, the bad guys. Henry, Henry was quite the hoarder, evidently didn't even have room on his bed to sleep. He often slept in a chair because he had um, things piled on his bed. He collected everything. So we have, we have boxes and boxes here of things that he liked to collect. He was quite a collector of comic strips because he used these as source materials for his art. He didn't know how or didn't feel like he knew how to draw. And so he used techniques of tracing, uh, blowing up the, the artwork, uh, collage, other methods where he taught himself how to draw. Um, very typically, like outsider artists, he used whatever he could find and, and reuse. Henry dealt with his experiences with abuse and, and his, his being shunned by uh, society through his art. Intuit is a hidden gem. I want Intuit to become the most accessible museum in Chicago, where everyone comes here and feels really welcome. Even if they don't have a museum going tradition in their family, I want them to come in here and say, wow, this is a really easy place, a comfortable place for me to be. There's, there's always just a little special magic about the outsider art. I want everyone to be able to come in and um, unwrap their own creativity. Maybe they're not going to be a fine artist, but they have the opportunity to experience crafting here and, and the fact that everyone has some, some kind of creative genius inside them. Let's, let's tap people into that so they have the opportunity to create, even if they think, I'm not an artist. Everyone can create in some way. Let's figure out how you can create.